Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing very, very well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information and insight. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, the first two cards we have, we have the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is the card of success. So your awareness for the week is that you are accomplishing something that you had hoped to accomplish. You are reaching the end of a goal and you've met it. Uh, as a result of this, you may be uh, recognized by your peers at the office. You may be recognized by friends or family for a job well done. So for example, if you've been training to run a 5K and maybe you, you uh, successfully achieved that, you know, you may get some nice compliments from friends or family about how you, uh, how you did a good job. So with the Six of Wands, it's a sense of this rider riding into town and uh, taking his victory lap, wearing his victory wreath in front of the adoring crowds. And the crowds are probably thinking, gosh, I'd like to be that person. So whether this is something uh, in your work life that you've done well, you may be getting a nice email or a bonus or a promotion or simply a pat on the back uh, or something has... Uh, has turned out well in terms of a, a relationship, but this is a real sense here of victory and of winning by a result of your actions and your leadership and your journey that you've taken. So now that you have this win under your belt, it seems that you have a lot of options. Seven of Cups, looking at all the cups with something different in each one. Uh, in many instances, this could be the what if game and what if I chose this cup and what would I be doing then or what's next for me then? So, you know, it's wonderful to visualize and to fantasize and to imagine things. It's another thing to be stuck in a fantasy or an illusion. So there are two very different um, avenues with this card. There's a sense that you have options and that you're thinking about your options. You may be thinking about what's next for you. You may be thinking, hmm, I'm going to go for all the goodies in this one and I'm going to direct my energies toward this. You know, with fantasy, with imagining with big dreams. That's how we accomplish things. That's how we create new and wonderful technology. So um, you may have had completion here, feeling the sense of victory or win, and now you are looking at your options. You're thinking about what's next for you and, and which direction do you want to head. Okay, so we have the Empress, Major Arcana. And the Empress is here to really say that the, you know, Mother Earth and life, that you deserve some nurturing and some compassion and some love and some consideration. She sits here outside in nature, gaining strength and power from nature and from the abundance in nature. Note, like the wheat fields here, and, uh, you know, there's a sense of taking care of not only yourself, but maybe taking care of others, that that's something that's been important. With the Empress, she's, she's sensual, 
feminine. She enjoys beauty and looks for comfort. And so you may be doing something to improve your home, to make it more beautiful, to bring in more flowers or change the wallpaper or, you know, a pillow or something. But there's a sense here of finding comfort in, in your environment, in your home, in your yard perhaps. The second thing about the Empress is that the Empress really does speak to fertility. And for some, some of you may be thinking about having a child, you may be pregnant, uh, others may be pregnant with ideas and again, dreams or hopes and the Empress wants us to be inspired, wants us to follow our passions and to live life to our fullest. So take your ideas, nurture them, and then bring them out into, the, into fruition and make them tangible. Because you're giving birth to your hopes, your dreams, your ideas. And so to do so, and to make your dreams and your inspirations and your passions come to life, you're going to have to work hard. You've probably been working really hard. This is a card of someone who is very talented, very skilled, and very focused. Hammering the, away at that pentacle, proudly displaying the pentacles, ignoring the temptation of heading off into town to party, to hang out. That detracts from the job at hand. So focused, detailed work, possibly working with your hands, there's also a sense here of, you know, some may say the grunt card, working too hard. But there are many, many people who find comfort uh, from the routine of what they do, of the fine details, of the talent that it takes to create something, to create even a tax return of all the, all the pieces that go into that. Uh, it takes a lot of skill. There is skill here. You also may be going to a training or having to do something with respect to your career um, of gaining more certifications, learning new skills, learning new things about the passions that you're pursuing and the options. Okay, so... As you have been inspired to create and to nurture your ideas and to be loving and kind to others and to work hard, here is the universe handing you a wonderful opportunity. And it's the opportunity to really allow your relationships to flourish, to let your emotions flow, to tell people how you feel about them, to express kindness and gentleness and more love and compassion for others. If you're single, put yourself in a position to meet people. You may very well meet someone that could be the love of your life. This is a card of great happiness, of great health, of, uh, you know, delight. And it's the delight in the connections that we, uh, you know, that we make. It also could be the love and the joy and the uh, emotional contentment of finding just the right thing for you to do in, with respect to your purpose in life. So possibilities here, gifts or blessings from the universe for you to be happy and to find happy in the things that you do or relationships. And if you are in a committed relationship, it's a chance for you to reaffirm, to rekindle, to create more intimacy, develop the bond. And then finally, interesting card with the Page of Swords. I'm not surprised, honestly, by seeing this. The Page of Swords, it's about this youthful energy. He looks like he's on guard. He looks like he's um, waiting for something to happen. And this young page is aware that life can be tricky sometimes. There can be obstacles. There can be challenges. 
and I'm going to use my smarts to handle them. I'm going to use my intelligence, my reason, my problem-solving skills in order to address whatever may come my way. Regardless of the gray clouds, of the wind blowing back my hair, and of the trees, I'm ready. I'm ready to handle whatever it is in pursuit of my passions, of life purpose, and the new options that I've been considering and thinking about. So very interesting. Let's take a look at a focus area thought or meditation point for the week. Fogged in, go slow, take time. Interesting. So again, fogged in, obstacles or challenges. The Page of Swords is going to be telling you to take your time, to focus on the best time to get out of the fog. It's also a nice, gentle reminder that to build and to create something beautiful and inspired does take time and it takes hard work and focus. So now let's see how you're doing with spirit or emotional self. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? So simply good advice, which is if you've been grinding it out in the hopes of building something, of building something beautiful. Don't forget to stop and smell the roses. Don't forget to look within and to think about how you're doing. And finally, let's see what we have for love. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. And a card that is uh, really a strong message to let your emotions flow. Don't be afraid of your emotions. Don't be afraid to express how you feel, how you care for someone. Be honest, be authentic. Your emotions and your emotional uh, self is equally as important as your physical self and your mental self as well. This is what I have for you for the week. I hope you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.